My thought for today is around communities. And some people are predicting the decline of the large social media networks like Facebook and Twitter and others like that as micro communities and niche communities are on the rise. And I think you've probably read some of the leaked Facebook information that shows that they're worried and they should be. They have a large decline in usage with younger people. Uh, I know that my children don't use Facebook. They're even seeing a decline in usage on Instagram. So it's all declining. They're deathly afraid of TikTok. They think they can do something to attract young users back to the platform. Newsflash, they're going to fail. It's not going to work. Um, younger folks are very educated and informed, and, and they care a lot about the companies that they do business with. And you can rebrand yourself all you want and call yourself Meta all you want, spin up an entirely new business, and people will figure out who's funding it and who's behind it, and they won't use anything um, that's been created by Facebook or funded by Facebook. So I think it's inevitable it's going to happen. Most of us are tired of the large social media networks. I think the last couple of years have really created a chasm between people, it's broken up friendships and torn apart families. It's toxic. These these platforms are pretty toxic. It's unfortunate. And you can try to carve out a little piece of it, but you're still embedded within the platform. So yeah, I had Facebook groups, but it was still within Facebook. And so if you wanted to go use my Facebook group, you're still in the stream and the feed and seeing all the garbage flowing through. Ruined your day. So I shut down my Facebook groups and I'm completely focused on my Slack community because it's mine. And that's, that's a micro community. It's a niche community. I built that with people I enjoy communicating with professionally and we support each other. We help each other. It's a very positive environment. I enjoy it a lot and I enjoy the people a lot. It's a better experience. So I think it's, it's happening more and more. I was talking with Sherry Edwards about that. Um, last week you know so that's part of the newsletter and podcast coming out this week and she has created starting many years ago her own community uh, with people who are a little bit older and, and struggling in the job market and trying to figure out what's going wrong and making it very positive so instead of it being a bunch of whining and complaining it was like okay what are you going to do about it and it's been very positive and she really enjoys her community too so i think it's something that that's coming um and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. And I've been finding more and more niche communities around interests that I have. Um, I'm building a new community around solopreneurship because I think it's it's unique to what's going on in the entrepreneurial space. I mean, there are some of us that aren't trying to build the next massive multi-billion dollar company. You know, we don't want to build something and get it funded by VCs. We just want to create a business that is ours and we can run and it gives us freedom. It's really about the freedom. And I'm finding a need to have a community of like-minded peers that I can share ideas with and get feedback and support, uh, get advice and vice versa, help people with that. So it's powerful and I think it's coming. Um, and I'm curious if you are a member of any of these new micro communities and niche communities you know, that are places like Slack and Discord and Mighty Networks and Geneva or anything else, I'd love to hear about any new platforms that you're using because I'm, I'm seeking the home for my solopreneur community and I'm struggling to figure out what would be the right place for it because I am playing around with Mighty Networks and I've played with Teams and Abandon. Uh, Slack is pretty techy. Um, Discord is kind of hard to use for a lot of people. Mighty Networks, or not Mighty Networks, but Geneva is very interesting. I've talked about that, but it's new. Um, will it survive? I don't want to build my community on a platform that's going to be shutting down in the next year or two. So it's a tough call. Uh, so if you know of anything that you've been using or participating in for a niche community or micro community, I'd love to hear about it. So leave a comment wherever you're seeing this video. Um, and I'd love to connect with you. So either follow my YouTube channel, you can subscribe uh, to get all these video updates or subscribe to my newsletter at newsletter.invinciblecareer.com. Leave a comment, you know, comment to me on Twitter, Instagram. I respond to almost everything. I try to uh, send me a DM. 
I'm happy to have a conversation and try to help you with whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. But uh, that's my thought for today.